Now let's check in with WCCO's Jennifer Merrily again, who she's been covering this trial for us also. Jen? Yeah, and I'm just getting a look at some of what we call the pool notes from this, and that's the reporters, the journalists who are actually inside the courtroom who can see what was happening and take notes about kind of what uh, people were looking like when they saw this. And so I'm reading here that um, it looks like when Thomas Lane was found guilty, he uh, drops something and kind of sits back. His attorney, Earl Gray, shakes his head. Um, it says Lane's hands were folded in his lap and he shakes his head as he looked at his attorney. So it kind of gives you a, an idea of what was happening inside the courtroom uh, while, this, while the verdicts were being read. Um, it looks like one of the jurors was crying as she gave you know, her what she thought. Another juror, um, let's see, it looks like they looked around at the woman and another woman in, a, in the courtroom was dabbing her eyes. Um, as I'm just getting these in right now, these notes are just coming in. It says the judge uh, thanked the jurors and um, he wanted to uh, visit with those jurors after um, the sentencing. Uh, or after, I'm sorry, the verdict. Um, of course, what comes next is sentencing, and we're learning now that the three defendants um, were not taken into custody, were released. I've uh, made some questions, made some inquiries about why that was the case today. It sounds like they will both be, they will all be meeting with the probation office and start, get started on the pretrial sentence investigation, and that's something that they would review with their attorneys um, before they would be called back to the court for sentencing. These are all notes that were taken by people who are in the courtroom, and um, that uh, this is kind of the notes that we're hearing about exactly what was happening um, and what people were looking like and feeling um, as these verdicts were read. Yeah, so, so they leave court, they have to go meet with a probation officer, They'll, they'll work on this sentencing, and then at some point they'll go back and get sentenced, and then right. who knows, at some point, then they'd go to a federal prison, and then maybe they get out of the federal prison and go to a state trial. Is that that could be the possible order of what happens. Yeah, they are still facing at this point that state trial in June. Um, that is still to come at this point. We'll see if this uh, federal verdict changes anything. Um, but again, we're learning today that uh, all three found guilty on all of the charges against them. We heard a lot in court about in your custody, in your care from the prosecution. And that's clearly something that spoke to this jury. All right. Thank you, Jen. I'm Thanks, sure we'll Jen. check in with you again.